Hello everyone and welcome back to another USMLE 101 video. Uh, thank you for clicking on this video. You are awesome and uh, I hope that you will benefit a lot from this video. Um, as you can see from the title, this is my experience for the step one. Uh, yeah, I did step one a while back and uh, I've been meaning to do a, a video on it and uh, tell you my experience and everything. Uh, but I got, uh, I got caught up in all the studying and, uh, and everything in life. So, um, without further ado, this is the, the USMLE Step 1 experience. Um, first off, uh, I'm going to divide this video into four sections. I'm going to talk about the materials I used for the study. I'm going to talk about the Q-Banks that I used and how I used them. And fourth, I'm going to, the third, I'm going to talk about the uh, timeline and my schedule and how I started and, and how I ended uh, my study until, until the exam. And fourth, I'm going to talk about the exam simulation. There was a fifth section that I wanted to add, but I um, I think it's going to make the video really long and I just wanted to get to the important stuff. And uh, the fifth section was going to be about the exam preparation. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on this how to uh, prepare for the exam, the actual day of the exam, how to, uh, 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 to approach the, um, the, the exam in, in, uh, um, um, while in the, the, uh, um, in the exam room, and how to divide your effort, and when to take breaks, and so on. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to have this video um, uh, pretty soon. So let's get started. First, uh, let's talk about the materials that I did use. First, I used the Kaplan lecture notes along with Kaplan videos. Uh, they are fantastic uh, and they cover everything really uh, except for pathology and for pathology I used uh, some called uh, Gullian notes uh, there are two things like uh, Gullian notes and there is Pathoma uh, people prefer Pathoma sometimes some people prefer the Gullian notes I'm not sure if I'm, I'm pronouncing Gullian is right or not but uh, uh, but I, I write down everything down below so you can check it out um, and this so Gullian for pathology you can either use this or pathoma so those are the two sources for pathology that you can use and along with that I used first aid uh, for everything and I used also some called doctors in training this is a, a series of videos based on first aid instead of the lecture notes of Kaplan they are good if you do have an extra time I'm gonna talk later about how I use them and uh, finally actually added the board review series for neuroanatomy I didn't like neuroanatomy uh, in Kaplan and in first aid particularly and I thought that they I, they were a little bit deficient I needed more information so I used the board review series for neuroanatomy and those are all the sources that I actually used uh, I didn't use anything else at all uh, the second uh, uh, thing is the question banks that I used okay so the uh, the question banks I talked extensively about question banks in a, a separate video I'm gonna link it right here if you want to check it out again and um, and I used the three question banks in, in USMLE step one uh, the first is Kaplan question bank and the second was the USMLE RX and finally the USMLE world I uh, um, I believe there are other question banks but those are the main ones and most people actually know those three and they use them they are awesome and I'm gonna talk again in the next section how to use them and when uh, finally, let's talk about how to approach this. Uh, so we got the materials ready. We know what our question banks that we're going to use and so on. So how did I start? Well, my process was a bit long. You can actually do it in, 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 uh, in less time if you want. Basically, step one can be done in like eight months. Uh, but I did it in 13 months. It took me just a little bit while because I, I was working and uh, uh, at the time and it just it just took me some time uh, extra. Uh, but I started with the Kaplan question, uh, the Kaplan, uh, I'm sorry, the Kaplan uh, uh, videos along with the lecture notes. I would read the lecture notes and see the videos based on uh, on the lecture notes. Let's say I, um, I would uh, read the, uh, the cardiac physiology and then I would view the videos and see if there's anything I would like to uh, uh, to add or anything like that and after I'm done I would read this exact same section in first aid uh, so I would again read from first aid the uh, uh, cardiac physiology and annotate anything that I have found in the lecture notes or the videos that are not in first aid uh, it, I'm gonna say this over and over again annotate in first aid or write your notes in first aid or add it to your first aid and so on like that uh, so basically the idea is to have one single book at the end that you can review everything from so you don't have to have like multiple sources that are uh, uh, confusing and you have to repeat things and so on everything is going to be concise and in the same book so uh, that's a really great advice I think it's gonna help you a lot at the end uh, it's gonna take some time but very good so again 
the I read the lecture notes and then the videos and then I would read first aid concerning this section and then after I'm done with this uh, like if I have a big section I would like divide it in days or so on uh, but in general if I'm done with a specific section let's say as I said cardiac physiology I would go then into Kaplan question bank and then answer the questions related to that uh, this is gonna help you to practice and this is gonna help you to uh, get the information stuck in your head and help you along the way as you move on uh, because practice is really important when it comes to USMLE in general USMLE step one two or any other USMLE uh, test um, practice is what makes uh, a person get a good score or not and trust me on this I understand this very well and this is what had helped me to get a good score and uh, after I'm done with this, I'm done with the lecture notes, I'm done with the uh, uh, videos and of course the uh, Kaplan Q Bank and so on. This has taken me like four to five months. It can take you less or more depending on your pace or depending on how you approach this. Uh, but in general, it just took me like four uh, months. After I'm done with that, I, uh, I did uh, take the USMLE uh, uh, Step 1 First Aid book. With, with the uh, with the information that is that I added from the question back from Kaplan and from the lecture notes and so on and I did a good uh, first read for first aid so what is a read because some people are gonna hear they're gonna hear that uh, I did a first read for first aid or something like that and what it means basically is just to read the information that is in the book and understand it well you don't have to really memorize anything just read it and understand it and comprehend what is uh, being talked taught in the book uh, and that's just what I did so I did the first read was everything that I have added and and uh, uh, from the lecture notes and so on after that I started doing what is the called the USMLE RX uh, this is a really good uh, question banks to do along with first aid uh, because it's done with the same people who did first aid uh, and it is actually the the answer uh, or the explanations they uh, they show extracts from uh, uh, pages from the first aid book so that's gonna help you a lot along the way so I did that it took me like uh, two months or two and a half months along uh, along with reading and first aid and reviewing the answers you don't really have to annotate anything from the uh, USMLE RX because usually everything is in the book uh, or the first aid book after that, I, uh, I figured that I do have enough time to do some extra. Uh, at this time, you would probably can, uh, you can start the USMLE world or you can uh, do a self-assessment or anything like that. But at the time, I thought that I do have some extra time. So I did what is called the doctors in training videos. Uh, they are just a basic of uh, uh, quick videos. They are not really extensive like the lecture notes from Kaplan, uh, but they focus uh, on everything and the uh, they, they follow first aid so the uh, they talk about specific subject and they say well we're working from first aid and page from uh, page like say 250 to page 240 or 260 i'm sorry and so on and they are good they're not like amazing or anything but they are a good way to practice uh to uh, um, um to do a good review or general review if you do have enough time if you do not have enough time or you do not want to um to delay your exam a little bit I highly recommend that you do not use it, uh, but it's good. If you want to try it, give it just give it a try. Um, after that, uh, it took me like two months with doctors in training. Uh, and after that, I was ready for the USMLE world. Uh, before the USMLE world, I did another read for first aid. It took The read typically at that time takes like 10 days, uh, maybe 15 days if I'm not doing like a, um, a extensive study in a single day or something like that. Uh, but 10 to 15 days is very good for a read at that time because I've read it multiple times before and I'm, I've become uh, a little bit better at it. After that, I started uh, the USMLE world. Uh, I subscribed for like two months. I didn't uh, add the USMLE self-assessments. I'm gonna talk about the self-assessments in just a little bit, but uh, but I uh, uh, but I didn't add this. I didn't really use it. And uh, and yeah, so I started the USMLE world. Uh, what I did is exactly like I uh, I did in the previous video. So you can check that out if you wanna know how to approach it and how to do it and, and use it. But in general, do the questions review the answers and annotate or write everything that you find in USMD world not a first aid uh, on it so at the end it took me like one month or uh, I think like 35 days to finish a first time USMLE world uh, and after that I took like a 10 day hiatus and I studied first aid with the uh, with the extra information that I got from uh, the USMLE world again uh, so this was like the my third read of uh, uh, first aid and after that I did the, the USMLE world a second time 
but the second time was a little bit different so I wanted to uh, to push myself a little bit to be ready for the exam so what I did is do seven blocks per day of uh, USM Lee World uh, 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 second time because I was familiar with the questions I knew the information I was ready and that helped me a lot actually and, and everything uh, that came later on was based on that uh, so I would highly recommend that you would do that if you, you can do it like third time you can do it on the same way this is gonna help you simulate the exam and see if you have like fatigue and, and just get accustomed to, to how the exam is um, for my scores from the USMLE World the first and second time, the first time I got uh, an average of I think like 66 or 67, I'm not really sure. Uh, above 60 is, is fine, people say. I'm not really sure, it doesn't really matter. I, I think you should approach USMLE World as a learning tool instead of an assessment tool, but it doesn't matter. Just as a reassuring thing, uh, above 60 is fine. Uh, the second time I got uh, a 94%, which is really, really good. I mean, if you get like an 80 uh, percent plus on your second time this is really good uh, and it's assuring and, and that you understand the concepts and everything and you know the information from the USMLE world after I got done with the USMLE world I had like three or uh, maybe four months before the exam and this is when the uh, next section that I'm gonna talk right now is the self-assessment section that what I did before the self-assessment uh, self sections uh, the, um, I want to say a really important thing here and USMLE world, what you see from the analysis of the blocks that you do and everything, they tell you exactly what are your high points and what are the uh, things that you need to improve or what are the subjects that you need to study again. After doing the USMLE world first or second time, I would highly recommend that you would uh, review the items or the uh, uh, the topics that you did not get a good score at or the topics that you most frequently uh, 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 lost points at some people had like behavioral science some people would say like I, I'm not really that good at uh, cardiophysiology cardiac pathology I'm not really great at, um, at uh, biochemistry and so on so just stress on those study it a little bit take like one week and and, and really do study it uh, really well after that you can start the uh, the self-assessment here but uh, the first self-assessment that you need to do is gonna be a, at least just one month before the exam this is this is helpful so you would understand where you are and just if you need to postpone the exam and really do uh, like a, a, another question bank or just do another read and so on or if you need enough time to study again uh, before the exam for like one month I did uh, uh, MBME and again MBME is just a bunch of questions that were used in the exam before and the um, <clears throat> And they offer them as practice for you and at the same time for self-assessment so you would know how you can do on the test they give you an actual score and sometimes they they will tell you what are the wrong answers and what are the right answers um, they cost around 50 to 60 bucks and depending if you want to have like an extended uh, uh, review where they tell you like exactly what is wrong and, and and they have like a detailed analysis of the test or you just want to know the score and this is just a little lower like 50 bucks so there are three MBMEs that I did personally, and they were seven, and MBME 11, and MBME 15. Uh, my scores were the uh, MBME uh, 15, I got 232, and MBME 11, I got 230, um, I think 237, yes, and on MBME 7, I got a 2. 37 again. I did MBME uh, 11, the first one, and I got 237. I wasn't really feeling happy but I thought I can improve and then I did the uh, MBME 15 and I got the 232 I felt a little bit down uh, and then before the exam of two uh, like two weeks I did MBME 7 and I got a 237 uh, I didn't get discouraged the last time because I thought MBME 7 is the hardest one so if you get like and a good score or around the score that you want in MBME 7 um, then just know that you can get higher in the exam it's just a little bit harder and two weeks before the exam I was ready uh, I did just a quick read of first aid again basically doing again what I said is focus on the subjects that I thought I was bad at or I thought that I can improve and then I took the test uh, my actual performance was uh, was okay I got a 241 uh, I don't think it's an amazing score. It just is. It's a. It's an okay score. I think I can build on that. 
and hopefully I can do better than step two CK. Um, that's been it. That's that's my uh, that's my experience. I hope that I did not confuse you. I hope that I was concise and I didn't take much of your time. Uh, if you do have any questions uh, or anything that I did not cover that you want to ask uh, related to step one, please leave the, a comment below. Uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, to answer all those questions or maybe do a separate video if I find a lot of questions uh, that can warrant a video. Um, yeah, that's been it. And thank you for watching. If you like what I do on this channel, please uh, subscribe. Uh, this is awesome. And we've been like uh, more than 400 subscribers now, uh, which is amazing. And um, leave a thumbs up on this video if you do like it. And if you find someone who needs to understand more about Usimly Step 1 or maybe here is experience, uh, feel free to share this video. Um, at the end, just a disclaimer, this is my own experience. This is not like the perfect experience and how you should do things. Uh, but this is my experience that you can learn from. I highly recommend that you would read or, or, or see other people's experiences and take something that would work for you uh, personally. So um, that's been it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.